ChatGPT fixed my fighting game. A while ago, I removed every mechanic in my game so that I can implement rollback netcode. And I got about 70% of it working, but the remaining 30% was a real pain to debug and fix. So I got ChatGPT to do it. So first of all, what is rollback netcode? Well, it's a way to reduce lag in online games so that players can have a smooth and responsive gaming experience. But it's also really complicated and can be very challenging to get it working correctly. I'm making a fighting game where you master unique powers in fast-paced battles. I'm also trying to make this the best game that it can be, so rollback is necessary. The rollback system I'm using was actually someone else's, and it wasn't working too well. So I started changing a bunch of stuff before I got it working, which obviously wasn't the best idea. And after a lot of debugging, I realized that the remaining 30% of my problems boiled down to four systems. And ironically, the third one was the final boss of this operation. Before I asked ChatGPT to fix my game, I asked it to write a rollback netcode system for my game. Obviously I wasn't gonna use it. And I kid you not, Mr. And I kid you not, I was truly mind blown with the results. It's obviously not usable, but the basic logic of the system was definitely there. But I wasn't here for a new solution, I was here to fix my own. So I got to my first problem, which was input sending and receiving. Rollback netcode is constantly sending and receiving inputs. And with my system, I wasn't sure if the inputs were being sent and received properly. So I needed a way to check this for myself. And I got the brilliant idea to write all of the inputs to a text file. Calm down, calm down. I know, it's the But there was a problem. I never did this in Unity. So you're probably thinking I watched a tutorial for this. <laughs> no. I asked ChatGPT to do it. I copied it and was able to print my very first message. Yippee! Now it was time to print the actual inputs. The way these inputs work is that they get sent to the server, then the server sends those same inputs to every other player in the game. This happens for every player, every frame. For those who don't know, a frame is a single image of the game, and many of these are shown in a sequence to create animation. That's where you get 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second, or even infinity frames per second. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck? In the end, all players and the server should have the same set of inputs for every frame. Thankfully, in this system, the inputs were already being recorded during the game. Now I just needed to take them and slap them onto the text file. And there you go! It was that simple! It always is. And as you can guess, there was a problem. Even though I was testing this with two players, only player 1's inputs were being printed. I mean, I'm using the same code to print the inputs for all the players, so why is this happening? I struggled with this for a while, but then I found a solution. As it turns out, both players and the server were writing a text file with the same name. And it was always a race to see who could finish first. And player one is always the winner. I made sure they all gave their text files a different name. And just like that, the input printer was working flawlessly. Also, the input sending and receiving was not a problem. It worked perfectly. Which means we don't have to fix anything. For now. But now, I got a question for you. What happens after we get all of the inputs? That's right, they need to be handled, aka they get put inside the game? Which brings us to our next possible problem, input handling. I had to make sure that the game was handling the inputs correctly, both locally and online. Whenever the game gets a new input, it asks itself two questions. One of those questions is, is this input online or offline? And regardless of the answer, the game mostly handles the inputs the same way which is this long process of properly storing the inputs and sending them to the game logic. But if they're online inputs, something else happens as well. Because the online inputs are the ones we use to roll back our game, we need to check for inconsistencies. And if something is off, we fix it immediately and sound the alarm. Then the game will be like, <laughs> I got you fam. And it will roll back to correct our mistakes. 
Now, when we're checking for inconsistencies in the input, we check what direction was pressed and what action button was pressed. Checking the direction is pretty simple and it works perfectly fine. However, checking the action buttons is very weird. You see, when I'm testing this, I only move the character with the directional buttons. I don't press any of the action buttons. But somehow, the game says that the buttons that I'm pressing are always different from the ones I was pressing before. Even though I wasn't pressing any at all. Like, just check if the values are different, it's not that hard! <coughs> I had no clue how to fix this. But you know who does? That's right, I asked ChatGPT to see what the problem was, but it wasn't helping much. I mean, I was already doing what you're telling me to do! Here's the thing about ChatGPT. It can't read your mind, so you need to ask the right question. And when I did, it gave me the right solution. What I was doing before was asking the game if input A is different from input B. But what I should have been doing was taking input A and input B and extracting it into and its directions and to turn them into action buttons. Parameters. And, and then passing it through a parameter right? that will make it the the Did you get that? Me neither. But it works! Even though this simple check has so many steps now, I'm glad that it works. Now, we got our inputs, we stored them, and then we sent them to the simulation. Now what do we need to do? Input prediction. This is the final boss that I told you about earlier. Remember when I said, whenever the game gets a new input, it asks itself two questions. The other question that the game asks itself is whether the input is predicted or not. But Anderson, what is input prediction? Input prediction is predicting what the player is going to do next based on what they did before. This is really important for fast-paced games, because you need to be able to react to what your opponent is doing. In online games, there can be some inconsistencies with the data that gets shared. Let's look at inputs for example. When sending inputs over the network, your inputs might arrive late, they might arrive out of order, or they might not arrive at all. And even when they do arrive, there's always a delay when sending data over the network. So, what happens while the inputs don't arrive? In rollback netcode, we assume that while your inputs don't arrive, you are doing the same thing you were before. Let's say your opponent is walking in the game. Then, we don't get an input. What are they doing right now? That's right, they're probably still walking. This is where we predict the inputs. But what if they weren't walking? What if they actually jumped? Well, once we get the correct input, we will roll back in order to correct the mistakes. And unless you have a really bad connection, you won't really notice this correction, aka rollback. In order to simulate input prediction in my game, I made it so that the players can only send inputs once every 4 frames. So I expected my input files to look like this. The real player inputs, or as I call them, true inputs, will have true written at the end of the line. The ones that don't are predicted, but instead of this, I got this! Notice the difference? <laughs> I do! And yes, this is a problem with the input prediction, because once I remove the input prediction, the input file looks like this! And as always, I didn't know how to start fixing this problem. The good thing is, I knew exactly where the problem was, so I asked ChatGPT for help. But this situation was just so complicated that I didn't know what the right question was to ask. What the dog doing? After After I asked ChatGPT the question, it wasn't helping me with the problem. So I had to fix this myself. First, I started by analyzing the input prediction logic. And as far as I knew, it should have been working properly. So at this point, I realized that the problem was definitely something that was either off or missing from the logic. Huh? Then I noticed this, the code that lets me store the inputs was missing something. It was missing a line of code to specify whether the input is predicted or not. I thought the game already knew whether the input was predicted or not, but still, I added that line of code. And just like that, it worked. I don't even know what conclusion I can get out of this. So let's move on to the next problem. Frame advantage, or rollback rift. 
As you probably already know, online games should be in sync, meaning no player should be ahead of the other. And as you can see from my frame counter, this was a very big problem for me. I already knew how to fix this problem, but it required a lot of thinking. And I do mean a lot. I had to consider a bunch of different case scenarios based on the player and the server and how I should replace and whether the current frame how they should be then, saved then, based on the frame the of the other and Did you get that? You already know my answer. So I had already defined the steps to fix this problem and then I was able to fix it on my first try. Can you believe that? Can you? I can't. The method I use is definitely not perfect gameplay wise, but that's a problem for another day. And just like that, the rollback system was working at a capacity of 100% extra plus ultra. We are one step closer to unlocking this game's true potential. Unfortunately, I can't show you the rollback itself working yet, because that'll be easier to show with character animations. But I can explain how rollback truly works, which I did in my last devlog. Now you already know what to do, grab your choco milk and get to watching my last devlog. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay awesome.